Hello everybody, I'm David, Mike Zero TPT, Purchasing Manager here at Martin Lynch & Sons. What we're going to do today is we're going to figure out if the FTM 500 series has just got a lot better. So the 510 is a replacement for the 500 and there's been some significant changes in some of the functionality and some special hardware that's been put into the radio such as the ASP. But before we do that, as we are the only dealer direct from Yesu Japan in the UK, Dan, the operations director, Martin's son, has gone over to see Yesu. He's over there at the moment and been talking to Yesu and finding out what future plans Yesu has. And um, obviously he's been having an absolute whale of a time over there, um, finding out um, everything there is to know about Yesu's headquarters. Looking forward to when he comes back, uh, so he can update us on just where and, and how that's going to look um, for us and you guys in the future. So can't wait for that one. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to get this set up onto an antenna and I'm going to show you the differences between the 500 and the 510. Now, we've still got a few of the 500s in stock. So if you are interested in them, have a quick look at this video up here, which is the in-depth one that I did about the 500. 80% of it is exactly the same within the 510. So don't go anywhere and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we've got it set up now. We've got our V2000 on the roof all wired into it so we can have a little listen around in a little while. Um, it looks exactly the same as the FTM 500, but it packs a punch in some areas. And I'm gonna show you some of those features right now. So up on the top here, we've got um, our V and our memory. And if you watch just here, as I press that, it then goes into memory mode. Fine, that's what we used to with the FTM 500 and many of the other Yaesu radios. But down here, we've got our band and MV button. And I'm gonna press that and you're gonna see that that changes to MVHF. That means that all the VHF channels that you've programmed into this, when you do a search, that's all it's going to scan. We can press it again now. We've got UHF, and again, it will only scan through your UHF uh, channels or memories that you've programmed in. Fine, that's exactly the same as the FTM 500, but it's got one more press. MGRP, these are my favorites. This is a new feature, and what that allows me to do is on the fly, I can put saved frequencies in there, whether it's repeaters, whether it's simplex. So for instance, when I come to work, I have my 500 on and I use my five PMG channels to, um, you know, monitor uh, as I travel around the M25. With this, you're only limited to the number of channels that you can totally program um, within. I've tried up to 12, 13, and they all programmed absolutely fine. So if you're going on a bit of a journey and maybe you do it every day, maybe you do it once a week or whatever, you can pop the repeaters or any simplex um, frequencies that you want to put in there. Um, so you don't have to touch the radio uh, while you're driving. That's the idea because this has a pretty wonderful um, microphone that you can pre-program and dial up frequencies. Yes, that's fine. But now we've got uh, my favorite area where I can put all of my favorite frequencies in. So that's one of the first changes, and that might be small, but for, for some people, that's a pretty big deal being able to do that. We've still got the PMG, which we can use, but this, my favorite group is, is pretty cool. So if I press that again, I'm gonna go back out, okay. So that's the first thing on this uh, FTM 510, uh, which is a wee bit different to the 500. The biggest thing, is the button up here, which is called the SDX button. That now has two, three different functions. So if I press it the once, you'll see up here SDX. So I know before I've mentioned, especially in the video that I pointed out earlier, uh, that it's almost like a preamp, but over time I've realized it's just a sensitivity adjustment within the radio. So it doesn't preamp anything, it actually desensitizes itself um, so it can pick up those weaker signals. If we press it one more time, that's when it actually deploys the ASP, the digital audio processing chip inside the 510, uh, which is the big game changer. You've seen it on the other uh, new two meters and 70 centimeter um, radios, the 150, for instance, 
you saw in the video uh, just what that sounded like and uh, there's lots and lots of other videos that actually give you an even bigger impression of just how that changes your, your audio listening. Um, however, there is one more function. We can press and hold it and what will happen is when we press and hold it, you'll see Auto F. That has now deployed the SDX, so that uh, desensitizing um, of the uh, radio and also deployed the ASP, uh, which is the, uh, the DNF filtering that uh, we've now come to love on some of the other radios, as mentioned. That is really the kicker functionality between this and the 500. The ASP is just absolutely um, out of this world. We have a little clip at the end and we'll be turning that on and off. And once again, you'll hear just what a difference that can make. One other thing which is the same as the 510 as the 500, but it is something that perhaps people aren't picking up. When you're in your PMG mode, um, if you press and hold uh, the VFO knob, it will launch in and out of auto and manual modes, okay? So basically that means that when I'm in manual mode, I can turn the VFO and I can go to my PMG frequencies. You can see there, and it will stay there. If somebody else talks, you'll see the bar graph go up, but it will stay on P3 for me, okay? If I put it in, in, into auto mode, um, that will then, anything, P1 to P5 will be picked up and played to you. And, and that was one of the beautiful things about the FTM 500, but the FTM 510 has taken it one step further. So as we know, this is a full duplex, uh, twin receive um, radio, and Yesu once again have taken advantage of that. And what you can now do is dual receive two of these um, PMG frequencies that I've popped in there. And you can see that the, um, uh, the, the P1 to P5 is flashing, so that's a little bit new. Uh, but what it's doing, it's actually monitoring all five of those. So if P1 pops up, you'll start hearing that. But if P4 pops up, you'll also hear that as well. So now dual receive on PMG, which is another big change for the 510. Uh, which I think is absolutely um, uh, a really, really good functionality. PMG, as you guys probably know from me ranting about it on the uh, previous video that I did, the in-depth video, that PMG is, is pretty cool. Uh, and now coupled with the ASP, uh, it's a little bit of a two meter killer radio. I absolutely love this thing to death. Um, still all the, all the same features, as the 500 that we love, uh, the face-off, the forward-facing speaker, coupled with those new changes that Yesu have implemented. And they implemented them because people were asking for it. Uh, so when they re released the previous three radios that had no digital, they were just aimed at the core of two meters, 70 centimeters or dedicated two meters. We'll take the 150, for instance. Everybody said, we'd love that functionality of the ASP um, in the 500. Obviously it's a physical change, it's a physical chip that's on the board, so that simply wasn't possible. But what they have done is release the 510 with the changes that everybody asks for and more, which for us in, in the hobby is, is just amazing how Yesu support us in that way. They listen to us and they implement what we want. Uh, the next thing really to cover off uh, is that they haven't left, Yesu haven't left the FTM 500 users like myself uh, in the dark uh, and going, oh, I'm, I'm going to need to upgrade. Obviously, that's wonderful if you want to upgrade. That's fine if you want that ASP. But with the other functionalities like the dual receive on PMG, and I haven't tested it yet because I haven't, got, obviously, I'm not going to upgrade one of the ones in the shop. I'm going to upgrade my own radio and I will. Uh, post back on how that goes. I'm hoping that that will give me, if I come out of here real quick, I'm hoping that I will also get my favorite groups, as I said. And that will be a simple firmware update that you can perform on your 500. So thank you, Yesu, for not leaving us behind. We love what you're doing, Yesu, in bringing out and showing us these new radios with some hot tech inside them uh, that improves um, our operating conditions. Uh, 
but you're not forgetting uh, about us 500 users. So I am looking forward to upgrading my 500s and hopefully uh, the GRP will be in there somewhere. Fingers crossed, we'll, we'll, we'll see. But I am pleased that I will get the, um, the PMG uh, dual receive. Uh, so that, that's absolutely fantastic. As I said, everything else is the same apart from the uh, ASP, uh, the SDX remains, so this um, more selectivity um, on your receive signal, and obviously the auto by pressing and holding it. Dual receive on the PMG, uh, which is fantastic, and as a, a full diplex radio, really great for some simple satellite work, uh, being able to take advantage of that, uh, uh, of the radio being, a, being full duplex. And I know there's a lot of operators out there that, that do use this radio. Um, for a little bit of fun on the satellites. Um, that's pretty much it. What we're probably gonna do now is I'm gonna have a little, little flick around and see if I can find some signals. And once again, show you that uh, ASP functionality on this radio. Um, so bear with me a minute, I'm gonna find some stations and then uh, we'll bring you back in. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Golf 2 Mike Lima, Golf 2 Mike Lima, calling CQ. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Golf 2 Mike Lima, calling CQ and listening, over. Oh, I heard the Golf 6 there. Should we go to 145525? 145525, over. Golf 2, Mike Lima, listening. Yeah, Golf 6, Juliet, X-Try Alpha, G6JSK. Okay, yeah, um, yeah, ABC Kim, Kilo India Mexico, Kilo India Mexico, and the QTO, the QTO, is all the same story. Mike, Oscar, Romeo, Delta, Echo, November, yeah, that was much better. I don't know what you did, um, but I could hear you uh, mighty fine this way. So um, G6, Julia, X-Ray, Alpha. Thanks for the correction on the call sign. Again, you're, you're, you're five and nine, five and nine, and uh, no bother at all understanding you um uh, this way so as i said we're, we're doing a little video here um from the shop uh, of the uh of, of, the, of one of the new radios that we're testing um so thank you ever so much for coming back to my call here uh and uh we're using the um uh, the martin lynch um employees uh club call which is g2 ml golf 2 Mike Lima. I wonder if I could take your name, please, for the log. If you can give me your name, over. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Uh, name is Kim. K Kilo, Mike India, M Mike. K Kilo, Mike India, M Mike. And uh, a lovely five and nine from you, from, uh, from uh, the, uh, um, uh, from uh, Martin Lynch. Yeah, Russia, Russia. Um, and it's uh, 50 watt, 50 watt, IC 1988. Uh, it's a medium sized Stolenia at uh, 21 feet uh, on the east coast of the back door of the EDH. Uh, Cox 2, Mike Lima, G, J, X, I. Over. Yes, all received. No bother at all. And um, thank you for taking the time. I'm going to clear now. So have a wonderful day and um, we'll catch you further down the log. Um, so speak very soon uh, from everybody here uh, and from me, David, Golf 2, Mike Lima. Uh, take care and 73. Yeah, I'm uh, uh, my, uh, my pop over another time. Um, Okay, so you may have heard there um, 
I was on top flicking between the ASP and non-ASP. Certainly here, I, the, the difference uh, is amazing. I was struggling with him at first. I'm not sure why, uh, but he soon become very clear. And the, the ASP, you could really hear that kicking in and really um, almost richening it in his sound and improving um, the, the articulation, for want of a better word, and the call sign. And that certainly helped me get his call sign because at first I thought it was Golf 6 Julia India Alpha. Um, but then once it became a lot clearer and the ASP kicked in, I realised that there was a, a mistake and it was uh, Julia X-Ray Alpha. So this leads me on quite nicely to just one thing. If you are getting a really strong signal and the articulation is fine and you can hear every word, make sure that you turn the ASP off or at least give it a try with it off. What will happen if you've got a really strong signal and it's very clear, sometimes the two are very different, um, having the ASP on will then uh, over-process the audio and you can end up um, causing it to actually get worse than what it is. So make sure that you are switching between and then over time you'll get used to when you need to use the ASP, when you need to use the SDX, and it's not until you, you play around with the radio that you know what works for you. All of our hearing is different. So that is a top, top feature of this radio. There we have it. The FTM 510. Some of the changes that have been made within the radio. I absolutely love it. And thank you for Yesu for making uh, the software backwardly compatible to our FTM 500s. Thank you, Yesu. And thank you for watching. Uh, that's it for another week. Don't forget to like and subscribe and then you won't miss any of the videos that we do. And we do thank you for taking the time and, uh, and spending time with us, getting to know some of these radios a little bit better. I'll speak to you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.